Back on the day of January 6, 1811 in Boston, Massachusetts, a senator was born. His name was Charles Sumner. He was born to Leif Jacob and Charles Pickney Sumner. For schooling, he went to Boston Latin School and Harvard College. He became a Republican senator from Massachusetts. In 1865, he made a speech dealing with the Kansas-Nebraska Act. The Kansas-Nebraska Act was basically where people would vote on slavery in that state, but it became very violent, just trying to decide if it was a slave state or a non-slave state. This fight was called Leading Kansas. Anyway, Sumner being Republican, he was anti-slavery, meaning he wanted the states to have little to no slavery. In his speech, he insulted multiple people, but mostly Andrew Butler, a Democrat from South Carolina. What Sumner said to Butler is that he has a mistress who is ugly and polluted by most of the world, but is lovely in his eyes. Sumner is saying that there is a lady that is mean and ugly, but Butler loves her. He is referring to slavery. It is ugly all the way around, but they love it and think it's okay. Preston Brooks, a representative from South Carolina and Butler's nephew, was also offended by the statement. On May 22, 1856, in the Senate chamber, Sumner was sitting in a chair, and Brooks came and hit him multiple times with the cane. He was badly injured and had to step away from the political world for three years. Brooks, on the other hand, returned to the South a hero. When he was here, and there was a parade of people throwing canes and rejoicing for their victory. Some canes even said, hit him again. In 1866, Sumner married Alice Hootner Sumner, but they divorced in 1871. Sumner died on March 11, 1874 in Washington, D.C. at the age of 64. He is buried in Mount Auburn Cemetery in Cambridge, Massachusetts.